Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about adding new functionality to your website through the use of plugins. Part of the reason why WordPress is such a powerful platform is because of its extensibility. Plugins allow you to add extra functionalities that do not come standard with WordPress. There are thousands of free plugins available at WordPress.org and you're also able to purchase premium plugins from other sources. From the dashboard, click the Plugins menu. Within the Plugins menu, there are three sub-panels, Installed Plugins, Add New, and Editor. We are currently browsing the Installed Plugins sub-panel. The Installed Plugins sub-panel shows a summary of the plugins currently installed on your site. The status text just below the Add New button shows how many plugins you have installed, and out of those, how many are inactive or recently active. Much like the management of posts and pages, the Plugins subpanel comes with a bulk actions menu. You're able to activate, deactivate, update, or delete multiple plugins at once. To perform a bulk action, simply check the relevant plugins, choose an option from the dropdown, then hit apply. Each plugin you have installed is on a separate row. You can activate, edit, or delete the plugin, and you can also view a summary of the plugin as well as the version number, author, and additional details. We'll go ahead and activate Hello Dolly, and when activated, you'll randomly see a lyric from Hello Dolly in the upper right corner of your admin screen. Hello Dolly is a simple plugin, therefore do not offer additional settings and options when activated. Let's also activate a Kismet, which is one of the best ways to stop comment spam. Because our Kismet offers additional functionality to your site, activating the plugin will enable additional settings that can be accessed by clicking on Settings in this subpanel or by hovering over the Settings menu and then clicking on Akismet. To activate this plugin, you'll need an API key which can be obtained by visiting akismet.com. To deactivate a plugin, simply click Deactivate. The Add New subpanel is where you browse and install plugins from the WordPress plugin directory. You can view featured and popular plugins. The search function on the right allows you to find a plugin by typing in the plugin name, author, or tag. At the bottom of the screen is a list of popular tags. The larger the font, the more popular the tag. If you have downloaded a plugin, you can upload the zip file by clicking Upload Plugin on the top left and then choose the zip file you want to upload. We'll add a subscription plugin that offers visitors the option to subscribe to your site by entering their name and email. We'll use the keyword subscribe to search for a suitable plugin. The email subscribers plugin is the one we are going to use. Clicking on more details will bring up an information panel showing additional details. You can view the full description of this plugin, a summary showing important facts, and ratings. You can view installation instructions, screenshots of this plugin in action, change log, frequently asked questions, and reviews. When you are good to go, click Install Now. WordPress will download and install this plugin. When installation is complete, we can activate the plugin. In the list of plugins, email subscribers is now installed and active. You can access plugin settings by clicking on the new email subscriber menu. For now, we are going to leave the settings as is and go to the widgets subpanel under the appearance menu. You'll notice the plugin has added a new widget called Email Subscribers. I'm going to insert the Subscribe widget into the right sidebar. Enter a widget title, description, then hit Save. Visit the site and we'll see there is now a sign up form in the sidebar to allow visitors to subscribe to your blog. As you can see, plugins can do wonders for your site, from adding subscription widgets to adding contact forms, from adding discussion forums to e-commerce, the possibilities are endless.
Feel free to experiment with various plugins. After all, the worst that could happen is a plugin doesn't fit your requirements, then in that case, simply delete the plugin. To delete a plugin, go to Installed Plugins subpanel, find the plugin you'd like to delete, then click Delete. Finalize the deletion by clicking on Yes, delete these files, and before you proceed, you have the option of viewing a complete list of files that will be deleted. After deletion, you'll be taken back to the Overview subpanel. It's worth noting you cannot delete a plugin that is active, so make sure to deactivate a plugin before trying to delete it. Now that you're familiar with working with plugins, we'll move on to comments.